be put away. Another innocent victim. What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro back with another Photoshop slash Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the really cool, famous Dude Perfect outro. And if you guys haven't seen their outro, it's actually really cool and really unique. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So this is their outro right here. I'm gonna mute it. So they have their outro right there. It zooms up a little bit. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, guys, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find a way to do that. But I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this layout in Photoshop with this really cool glowing blue light around this subscribe button. And if I go ahead and keep playing it, you're gonna have some other links here as they describe and they point around the video, which is really cool. And they point over here and then it takes them to their merch. And it also glows with a video that you can also click on. And I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Um, I'm not. I'm just gonna show you how to do the layout and stuff in Photoshop, but you guys can later do whatever you guys want, add your video, your photos, and stuff like that. But before I begin with the actual tutorial, this video is sponsored by Videoblocks. To get started with your seven days of Videoblocks for free, be sure to visit the link videoblocks.com slash YouTube or go to the description down below where you can sign up as well and go to the same link. You guys have access to 3 million videos that are royalty free, of course, which is really cool. You can also get effects and backgrounds if you would like. So check them out, link in the description along with everything else that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this tutorial right now. Hey guys, so what you wanna go ahead and do from here is you're gonna have, or you're gonna go ahead and create a document. It should be 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, usually. Um, you want to go for the same resolution as your video. So we have the background here. Currently, it's not a transparent layer. So I'm going to press Control or Command C to go ahead and paste the actual layer I have. So we can go ahead and just delete. Whoops. We're going to go ahead and shrink this down. And I'm going to shrink this down and use a different color first of all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the that. I'm just going to use that as a reference. Maybe Maybe black. So I know what we're doing and I'm going to drag this into the corner and I want to make this bigger. So I want it to be around a little like one fourth or one third of the video or the document size. So something like that. So I think I think this would be good. So I'm going to click on the check mark. So we have this to work with now. Right. So I'm going to create on a new layer and in the new layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill the background with a color. So I'm going to go on to the color overlay. I already have this set as the background color I think they chose like a darkish lightish gray um, or black and the hex code is one two one 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 and I'm gonna click on OK and from here I'm gonna add a pattern so go to pattern overlay so we're gonna change the color overlay to multiply and we're gonna change this to 100% uh, right there so you can start to see the little patterns there it should be the first one it sh that should be built into Photoshop so um, we should be good there and it's a little bit scaled so we're going to scale this up just a tad yours might be at like a hundred or something like that so i'm going to scale this up quite a bit but not too much something like that 362 or 360. the next thing we're going to do is it looks like we're going to add some like a, another layout right here so to do that all you have to do is go on to a new layer which should be this one nothing is selected now I'm going to go ahead and just select something like this around here. So I'm going to select the black and I'm going to use the background tool to paste that in. And if it doesn't fill it all the way, just go ahead and just transform, kind of make it fit there. We're going to start to change the color here. So I'm going to select this and I'm also going to select a color. The background color should be this gray right here, the one, two, one, one, one. And let's see, we're going to go to color overlay. And we're going to change that back to normal. Click on OK. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the layer style and paste it onto this one so that, that they're both the same. So right now I'm going to go ahead and disable. Actually, I'm going to make this one white so it's not every so everything's not blending in. So we're going to make that white. Sweet. So we kind of have our layout going on here. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is add our text. So create a new layer and type in subscribe and i'm going to turn this white whoops i'm going to turn that white if i'm going a little bit fast just go back and pause into the video i just don't want to take too long it should be pretty pretty straightforward so i'm going to go ahead and make this bigger by pressing command shift and just scaling this up not too big because theirs is not that big as well so i'm going to move this down here 
and it looks like it's touching that and then from here I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger as it goes off the screen as you can see here as well as the S so I'm going to do that as well and once we're there I'm going to move this up sweet so once we're done with that we're going to go ahead and add a drop shadow so double click on the text to bring up the layer style go into the drop shadow the drop shadow everything is kept the way it is for now um, and I'll tell you guys that in a little bit so the drop shadow should be at 66% opacity blend mode multiply with the color black angle is at 90 degrees distance 4 spread 24% size 21 and everything else is kept the same so the color overlay we're going to match that to be this right here so it should be something like that um, if you guys want to go ahead and make it a little bit lighter which they did you can do that um, I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to go up a little bit, but not too much. So something like that. So you can still see it. So I'm going to go something like that. So 212121, click on OK, and OK once more. So once we've done that, we have our text. Once we have, or once we make sure that the text is the way we want it, right click and click on rasterize type. Then all you have to do is just go into the marie key tool, select that with the text and just delete it. I think that would be a quicker way of doing it. So we have this and what happens if I, so I'm going to go ahead and just the background, I'm going to go ahead and make this right there. I'm just going to scale that to there and make sure it's perfectly aligned. Double click on the background again and add a drop shadow. And we're going to drag this drop shadow to the left like that. And then we're going to go ahead and just bring up the distance, click on OK on top, be on top of everything. So we have that going on. Sweet, so we have that going on there and we have the subscribe. So the next thing we need to do is add that really cool red bar. So we're gonna go into the rectangle tool and create a new layer on top of everything. We're actually gonna drag that beneath this. So it's underneath this left panel here. So it adds that shadow on top of it and then drag this right here. And if it gives you this little uh, cross like circle thing, Right click on the rectangle one, click on rasterize layer, and then fill that in with red. So we got that going on. If you don't like it, just make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna go ahead and just start making cuts. But before we do that, we wanna go ahead and make our rectangle or our circle thing. Go ahead and go on to open, assuming you have your profile picture or your avatar or your logo or something like that. I already do, so I'm gonna go on to documents and open this one up. And go ahead and just unlock the layer. I already have this one opened. Um, and I'll show you guys how to select it. So YouTube obviously has that circle logo as you can see. So to do that, all you have to do is go onto the elliptical marquee tool, click on one of the corners and just drag this by holding shift, command C, control C and paste it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make this smaller here, something like that. And I'm gonna paste it right there. So it's a little bit more over here. We're gonna press Command J to copy that. So we have that there. This one, so this one right here is the one we have pasted into this document here, which is our original, the background. And then this one is the one we added the dark shadow to. Um, so if we go to color overlay, it should be on normal. There we go. So we get a solid black and then we're gonna drag that beneath it and we're gonna scale it up. So to scale it up by pressing shift and option or control something like that looks good sweet and if you get that weird thing here you can always fix it i'm not going to fix it right now but you can if you want so the next thing we can do is we're going to name this um avatar one and i'm going to name this avatar so with this one here we're going to go into the rectangular marquee tool we're going to go into the red and we're going to start cutting some things so we're going to go with like one two three so something like that i don't know make it random or something so once we're done with that we have to add that little space as you can see there so that's actually really easy to do all you have to do is make sure we have the avatar background the dark solid black circle selected so press when uh control or command click on the little uh, thumbnail and then go on to select go to modify and then go on to expand spend that by seven pixels or so then select, um, go on to the rectangle then, then click delete. So that should have added that little space or gap there. So the next thing we need to do is add those little rectangle things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna go ahead and just, actually, we're not gonna create a new layer. 
We're going to go ahead and select the same one as this white box since it's a 1920 by 1080. Uh, since we scaled it down, it's the same. So press Option and drag that. And we're going to drag this all the way on top of everything. And hold Shift to keep its proportions. And just drag that there. Then drag a copy, Option, Shift, and drag this down. Something like that looks good. So once you're done with here, we're also going to make the same color adjustments. So go to color overlay on the first box and select a sample color. I'm going to do this one. Then right click, click on copy layer style with this one. Right click, click on paste layer style to do the same. Once you're done with this, um, the next thing we need to do is add some drop shadows to this circle here. So go to the avatar background, go to drop shadow. Click on OK, that should be good there. We want to go ahead and do the same thing for these two. Um, so just group these together, um, open that and just add a drop shadow. So it adds a drop shadow to both and do 90 and click on OK. So now all we have to do here is to add that glowing effect. It's really, really easy to do. So to do that, all you have to do is go onto the timeline. If you don't have the timeline, go to window, go to timeline and click on create video timeline. So then you want to go ahead and scale this up. You're going to have all of your layers here selected. So the ones we want to work with are these three. You don't have to have three. You can do one or two or whatever. So we have the this one right here. It should be the solid black circle. In your timeline, it's going to turn kind of white. So go ahead and select that. Open this square or rectangle by clicking this arrow. Go on to style, and you're going to have like every 10 frames, so which equals to five seconds. So once you're done, click on the stopwatch icon and add your first keyframe. The first one right now is set to nothing. So go to 10 frames, add another keyframe by clicking this little um, diamond looking thing or shape. Then go back and open up the layer style. Go to uh, the, I believe it's color overlay. Click on this and sample a color of your avatar or something or just go for a scion blue. Then from there you want to go ahead and add a outer glow. The outer glow should be the same color as the color overlay and then uh, once you're done with that just go ahead and just make these values the size should be 18 and everything should just be like this okay so make it really soft not too not too strong or anything so click on ok so now if i go ahead and just pl push play you're going to see how it glows like this so then we're going to add two more frames so it blinks twice from the video so it goes one so it goes from zero to blue and then it's going to go back, go back to zero. So add another keyframe, go back in here, disable the outer glow and go and sample the same color as it was before. So do the same thing for this one and another, add another keyframe, go to avatar and then go to um, the color overlay. I know there's an easier way to do this, but trust me, there's, there's, there's ways of doing things in Photoshop. So everything like that, add the same outer glow. It should, everything should be saved. And uh, so now if we go to push play, it goes like that. And then the last thing we need to do is add it again, except this time we're gonna get rid of them and go back to how it was before. So now if I go ahead and push play and have it kind of render out, you're gonna see how it looks. So it goes like that, sweet. Go skip 10 frames, then you're gonna start on the next one. You are finished, all you have to do is kind of get rid of the background if you want. Um, it's still, no matter how, even if, if you export it, it's still going to be, even if you export it, it's not going to be a transparent layer. So no matter what you do, it's going to add, it's going to turn it black. So if you get rid of this and leave it like that and you want to export it like that, click on this little arrow button and it says the render video, choose a location, a name, H.264, high quality, make sure the size document is the same or you can change it and click on render. And right now it says it already exists. If you want to replace it, just click on, it will just say um, render and it will render it to that location. All right, guys. So once you are done with that and exporting it, open up Final Cut Pro 10 and you're going to have the outro that you've used or exported, as you can see. And it just makes a video for you with the animations that you've added with all the keyframes. So I downloaded this time lapse video from videoblocks.com. Type in whatever you want. You can go to footage. So I went to footage. I went to... I believe it's time lapse, and they have a whole bunch of videos from time lapse or any other kind of stuff that you want to look for. So they have stuff like this. This is the one I got it from. Click on download, and once you have it downloaded, go ahead and just drag your outro, which should be a video. Drag that on there, scale it to fit the timeline. So you're going to have that going on there. 
add your video and drag that beneath it. And I'm going to make this a little bit, I'm actually going to trim this video down. So there we go. So now we're going to have something like this. Um, so all we have to do is add a Luma keyer or something like that to get rid of the black background. So go into the effects and go into King, add the Luma keyer on your outro. And you're going to have this weird effect going on. Go to the Luma and just drag this all the way as far as you can to the left, but without making it go black again. So something like that. Then go on to the mat tools and click on fill holes to get rid of some holes right here like that, but not too much to where it makes it black again. <laughs> and then the levels, you want to drag this all the way to the right to bring some of that video back in, but not all the way or else it's going to make it go black or weird or something like that. It's really weird. I don't know why, but it adds this dark shadow on top. I'm not sure why that happens. And now if you go and push play, it should look something like that. And then you can always add your video or your picture or in YouTube and the YouTube editor and add your end card to that. So this is how you do Dude Perfect's outro just like this. So if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time.